Hi everyone, my name is Janine. This is a three-part series, starting from a slow flow and then working our way up to a power flow. This first video will be our slow flow. As you move through the sequence, it'll feel better within your body as you become more familiar with the sequence. So we will start in Sphinx Pose, coming down onto our bellies, grounding through your forearms, Pressing through the palms of your hands, creating a shape 11 with the arms. Actively press the tops of the feet into the mat to create an active feeling throughout your legs. And then checking that your shoulders are stacked over your elbows. Allow your head to hang heavy, chin down towards your chest. Open up through the back of your neck. Begin to make half circles, nice and slow, bringing right ear to right shoulder, releasing chin down towards the chest, and left ear towards your left shoulder. Right to right, left to left. Option to stay with your half circles or begin to find a full circle. Open up through your throat or chakra for communication. And then reversing the direction of your circle. Finding a neutral neck, we'll release our chest down. Bring the hands outside of your mat, coming onto your fingertips. On your inhale, pull the chest up, lift your gaze. As you exhale, release the head down, maybe tap forehead to the mat. Inhale to roll up. Exhale, release. One more inhale, roll up. And exhale, release. Right hand under the shoulder. Extend your left arm out to the side. Gently begin to roll onto your left shoulder, stepping right foot behind you. Gently take it back through center. This time, extend your right arm out left hand under the shoulder. When you're ready, gently roll onto your right shoulder, step left foot behind you. Back through center, both hands underneath your shoulder. On your inhale, press all the way up through the arms and then send the hips all the way back to child pose. Taking your knees to find the edges of your mat as you reach your hips over your heels and extend the arms out long in front of you. Inhale, rising up through a tabletop. And sweeping the legs out in front of you, coming into Sukhasana, easy seated. Releasing your right hand down to the mat, inhale, sweep left arm up and over. Big side body stretch, maybe lower down onto your right forearm, creating a deeper stretch here. Inhale through center. Exhale over to the left. Reach your right arm up and over. Feeling that right rib cage expand with every inhale. And then soften on your exhales. Inhale to come back through center. Reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, cactus through the arms. Pull your heart forward. Bring the shoulders together. Inhale to reach. Exhale, cactus. This time, keep setting the hands behind you until you find it interlace behind your back. Pull the shoulder blades together, maybe lift your gaze up. 
And then keeping your interlace, we'll send the hands over towards the left hip crease as you twist the torso towards the right. Sending your interlace hands over towards your right hip crease, twist towards the left. your hands, still interlace behind your back. Inhale, open the heart once more, and exhale to fold forward. See how far you can send the hands towards the back of your head. With control, release the hands out in front of you, coming over your shins into our tabletop pose. Once you arrive, inhale, drop the belly, pull your heart forward, lift your gaze for cow. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, arch the back, chin to chest for chest. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Allow your movement to start at your tailbone. Inhale. And exhale. Two more rounds of cat-cow, taking it at your own pace, flowing with your breath. Once you're complete, we'll tuck our toes, lift our hips up and back, down dog. Find movement in your down dog, anything that feels good to you today. On your next inhale, rise up to your tippy toes, gaze forward, slowly tiptoe your way to the top of the mat for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly rolling up through your spine, sweeping the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release right hand down towards your leg. Send left arm up and over for a full side body stretch. Keep your left shoulder pulled back. Send your left hip away from you. Inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, left arm down, big stretch to the right side. Inhale, reach left arm up. Exhale, cactus through the arms, baby back bend. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, cactus. This time, find your non-habitual interlace behind the back, so your other thumb on top. Inhale, open up through your heart. Exhale to fold. If you want to bring your shoulders a little bit closer together, try to reach your palms so that they fully connect within your interlace. With control, release the hands down to the neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Planting our hands, stepping back into a plank pose. Inhale, we shift shoulders slightly past the wrist. Exhale to get all the way down to your belly. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back, down dog.
Inhale your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, nice and slow. Press through the palms of your hands, round through your shoulders to create enough space that you can step your right foot in between your hands. Dial your left heel down. On your inhale, open up into a reverse triangle, straighten through your right leg and right arm. Big stretch from toes to fingertips. Push your right hip forward. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand plants as left toes lift. Feel your left hip open and send your left arm up to the sky. Point your flex through your left foot. Maybe play with lifting the right fingertips off of the mat, working to bring our shoulders more in line with our hips. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, ground your left foot. Rise up, warrior two pose. Bend in the right knee so that it stacks over your ankle. Reaching through both arms. Straightening out through our right leg. We'll pull our left hip back. Inhale to reach your right fingertips as far as you can away from you. Exhale, lower into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Slight tuck of the tailbone underneath you. From our triangle pose, sweep your left hand down towards the mat, open up into a wide-legged fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, rotate to the back of your mat. Step right foot to knee, left forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Palms connect overhead. Exhale, Samastitihi, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step back into your flint pose. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, take it slow. Create that space, then step the foot in between the hands, gently dial your right heel down. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten all the way through that left leg, push your left hip forward. Holding for your in-breath. Exhale takes you to half moon. Left hand plants as right toes lift. Peel that right hip open. Then send your right arm up to the sky. Again, on this side, you might work on lifting through the torso a little bit. Fingertips hover over the mat. One more inhale. Exhale for warrior two. Big bend through the left knee this time. Keep pulling the knee outward so that you can see your big toe. It's opening up through your hip as well. Begin to straighten through your left leg. Pull your right hip back. Inhale to reach through left fingertips. Exhale, Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Again, pull the hips underneath you. Rather than reaching for the ground and our chest is forward, we want to bring it in line with our hips, so that might mean that you lift your chest higher than usual. 
Finding that proper alignment will feel even better. Sweeping our right hand down towards the mat, finding our wide-legged fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to the top of our mat. Step left foot to meet right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reach the arms up. Exhale, Sama Sikhi. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, taking it through your vinyasa. You always have the option to skip it and meet me in down dog. On your next inhale, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Bend through your knee, open up through your hip. Reaching your right heel towards the glutes. Inhale, three-legged dog, close off the hip. Exhale, knee to right elbow. And then step the foot outside of your hand, lower your left knee for a low lizard lunge. You might rise up to your fingertips to lift the chest a bit higher. Inhale to sink into your left hip flexor. And exhale for a wide half split. Send your hips back, straighten through your right leg. Inhale for your low lizard. Exhale, wide half split. One more, inhale, and exhale. This time, inhale to bring it forward, ground through your left hand. We'll sweep right arm up and back for a twist. Option to bend through your left leg, reach for the foot or ankle, adding in a quad stretch. Releasing the foot if you have it. Bringing the hands back through center. We'll tuck our left toes, lift up through the knee. Begin to straighten out through your right leg, finding this long pyramid pose. Allow a bend into the right knee, ground through your hands. Inhale, right toes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot in between your hands. Left toes up, standing splits, big inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat, left knee tucks behind right. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, Shiva. One more, inhale, and exhale. This time, inhale, standing split. Exhale, release left foot to meet right, forward fold. Inhale, rise high mountain. Exhale to fold. Bringing your feet as wide as your mat. Heels in, toes out. Sink the hips down, the last on a yogi squat. Hands come to the heart. Use your elbows on your inner thighs to help open up through the hips. See if you can roll your shoulders up and back, keeping the chest proud. Releasing your hands down to the mat. We'll step our left foot back, step right foot back, inhale to shift, exhale, lower all the way to the belly. 
Inhale for Cobra. Exhale for Down Dog. One last bit of standing on our left side. Inhale, left leg rises. Bend through the knee, open up through the hip, reaching your heel towards your right glute. Inhale, three-legged dog, close the hip off. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Stepping your foot outside of your hand, lower your right knee down for our low lizard lunge. Inhale, sink further into your right hip flexor. Exhale, wide half split, straighten your left leg, bring the hips back. Inhale, low lizard. Exhale, wide half split. One more, inhale. And exhale. This time, inhale, take it forward, ground through your right hand, sweep left arm up and back. Option to bend through your right knee, reach for the foot or ankle, adding in your quad stretch. Okay, releasing your foot, grounding through both of your hands. Tuck your right toes, lift up through the knee, straightening out through your left leg for that wide, long pyramid pose. Begin to shift forward, ground through your hands. On your inhale, left toes to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot through. Inhale, right toes up, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat, right knee tucked behind left. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva. This time we inhale. Exhale, release right foot to meet left, forward fold. Inhale, rise high mountain. Exhale to fold. Bring the feet wide as the mat, heels in, toes out, lower down into Malasana squat one more time. Holding in our squat. We'll send our right hand out to the side. Inhale, left arm up. Maybe your gaze follows. Release the left hand out to the side. Inhale, right arm up. Releasing the hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back. Step left foot. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, Cobra. This time, exhale to Child's Pose. Taking this time in your Child Pose to reconnect with your breath. Begin to rise up through a tabletop pose and then bringing our legs out in front of us. We'll extend our right leg towards the top of the mat and bring your left foot towards your right inner thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up, rotate your torso towards your leg and exhale, release it down. Inhale, reach the arms up. We're going to take our left hand behind us 
And then inhale, lift up through the hips for stargazer. Maybe drop your head back if it feels nice. Really press your hips forward. Lowering the hips back down. We'll take our right foot, step it outside of the left thigh. Grounding your right hand behind you. Inhale, sweep left arm up and over, twist to the right. You can even hook your left elbow outside of the right thigh, or you always have the option to wrap your arm around the leg instead. Holding in your twist for one more round of breath. Releasing from our twist, option for a counter twist, grounding your hands out to the left and then gently bow the chest down. As you rise up, we'll sweep our right leg all the way behind us, coming into a half pigeon pose. Once you arrive, release your heart down towards the mat, settling into your half begin to press up through the chest sweeping our right leg back out in front of us this time left leg extends bring your right foot towards the left inner thigh Inhale, arms up, rotate the torso first, and then exhale to lower. Reaching up through the arms, placing your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift up through your hips, stargazer, press the hips forward. Lowering the hips down to the mat. Stepping our left foot outside of the right thigh. Left hand behind you. Inhale, right arm up, twist to the left. Again, an option to either hook your elbow outside of the thigh or finding that wrap of your right arm around your leg. One more full round of breath. Releasing from our twist option for that counter twist, ground your hands, and lower the chest towards the right. As you rise up, we'll sweep our left leg all the way behind us, come into half pigeon. Lowering down, finding rest. Begin to lift up, keeping your left leg out in front of you, extending both legs towards the top of the mat. Inhale, both arms up, and exhale to fold. You can make this fold active by reaching for the feet. If you want something more restful, allow the arms to just hang down by your side. Rolling up through the spine, 
bringing the soles of the feet towards the mats. Scoot the hips a little bit forward. Reaching the arms out in front of you, we'll slowly roll the path down. Finding one round of bridge pose. Arms down by your side, bringing the heels as close as you can towards your glutes. Inhale, rise through your hips. Might find an interlace of the hands under the back, walk the shoulders together. See if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. Rise up to your tippy toes. Bring your arms out to the side, slowly roll your back down from top to bottom. And from here, yogi's choice. Taking about 30 seconds up to 60 seconds to find any other posture that your body might be in need of. For me, I'm going to take Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of feet together, allowing my knees to fall open wide, opening up through my hips a little bit more. You might take happy baby, maybe a supine twist, finding shoulder stands, anything that speaks to you. When it feels right for you, if you need to keep moving through the body, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, making your way into Shavasana, our final pose of rest, allowing some time to really embrace this stillness. I invite you to stay in Shavasana for at least 10 rounds of breath. Thank you for joining me for part one of this series. I hope to see you for part two, our all levels flow, as well as part three for the power flow. Namaste yogis.